dear colleagues, uh, speaking about hormonal therapy in treatment of prostate cancer, I should refer to new adjuvant treatment in treatment of uh, localized and local regional prostate cancer that is adverse and very adverse prognosis. It's not about the fact that is the myth unborn, but simply between the unborn myth and the myth in the process of being born, there is some difference, very subtle. So despite the fact that we know uh, about the role of hormonal therapy in treatment uh, of prostate cancer. We've been known it since 1940s of the last century. That's when the idea uh, to use hormonal therapy in new adjuvant regimen was born, but actually it was fully developed rather um, a short while ago. And hormonal therapy is even a younger uh, direction. Uh, I think we all know everything about Harry Potter since our childhood. Uh, at the same time, Harry Potter book, The Born of Myth, was supposed to be uh, published, but it was not. Uh, so we'll speak about uh, uh, busting the myths about the treatment and the different cancers and local regional cancers. Uh, as to the prevalence of prostate cancer in Russia vis-a-vis -vis USA, let's say the situations are most identical. 15, 20 percent is a way uh, prostate cancer is number one in Russia. In uh, in the USA, in Russia, it's number two. But as to mortality from prostate cancer and the changes over the recent decade, this is a shattering uh, figure, shattering statistics. Uh, for us, uh, over this year, uh, the U.S. reduced twice mortality from prostate cancer, whereas uh, it doubled in Russia instead of that. Why is it exactly that way? We'll discuss it today as well. As to the data from the European Association of Urologists, AEU, in every one out of six or eight, eight or out of eight uh, men, uh, there will be prostate cancer. Sometimes it will not be identified, but it will be there. Uh, so there are about 400,000 uh, discovered uh, prostate cancer in Europe at early uh, identification. Survival is 100%. And at a later stage, three or four men will die uh, finally. But if they would have been adequate approach, they would have been diagnosed because sometimes the process in some uh, males is very aggressive. Uh, we should think back to the uh, survival rates. Uh, in, in those uh, who were not, not diagnosed in uh, uh, proper time. According to the guideline, guidelines of uh, American and European associations of urologists, we can see that we have got lots of uh, uh, capabilities for high-risk patients. Surgery, for example, the Americans insist on combined treatment, same goes for European Association of Urology, but nonetheless, a uh, patient could uh, also participate in these discussions. Uh, EAU refers lo localized process without uh, uh, TDC, a uh, uh, local uh, margin, uh, high risk. American associations digress from that, but nonetheless, it's not uh, uh, the new new adjuvant therapy is not discussed. Why is that? Uh, if we get on to PubMed, uh, Gov, uh, it's about new adjuvant therapies uh, for prostate treatment. There will be lots of information there. And uh, the attitude towards new adjuvant uh, treatment, mindful of those 50 published papers, uh, 
uh, in mid 1990s of the 20th century, there was a lot of disappointment about it. No, uh, no adjuvant uh, therapy, according to many specialists, does not improve survival uh, vis a vis uh, surgical treatment, only does not increase survival without biochemical uh, progressing in patients with localized prostate, uh, prostate cancer. But also, it was mentioned that my biochemical relapse in patients with positive margin, uh, statistically, it's very infrequent, uh, provided the patient underwent new adjuvant therapy. We should give it a thought. Um, because uh, in order to apply new adjuvant hormonal uh, therapy and chemohormonal and chemotherapy, it's necessary to screen patients for that. There is, should be some eligibility criteria which will indicate to us that this combination will be effective and could be applied in clinical practice. Korean uh, meta-analysis done about 10 years ago. Will put a stop on their adjuvant hormone therapy, showing that in most studies, no adjuvant hormone therapy results in decrease of the tumors and frequency of positive surgical margin, but doesn't change the results in respect of oncological. Uh, in respect of oncology, in respect of uh, survival, uh, doesn't uh, increase uh, the uh, period to development of uh, biochemical recurrence, doesn't increase specific uh, survival. This is one of the few reference in modern recommendations to this paper that accounts for careful attitude that the legend uh, has not been born. Uh, is it still being born? I don't know. Probably. Uh, the situation uh, is like that. In our century, new drugs appear that are quite effective that show the efficacy in metastatic uh, uh, in a hormone uh, sensitive and resistant process. And uh, in the paper that was published last year, probably the combination of standard well studied in now adjuvant regimen preparations with a, with a new antigen in this study that, as I better on, will help us to improve the results of subsequent surgical treatment and will improve the possibilities of surgical treatment, not only reducing the tumoral tissue and reducing the thickness or, or frequency of positive uh, surgical margin, but this work also demonstrated uh, the lower the frequency of biochemical uh, relapse uh, during four years of observations. The researchers are still working. They are waiting for new data in terms of efficacy of uh, new uh, adjuvant or modified hormone therapy. Chemotherapy in treatment of prostate cancer. If we look at the trials uh, carried out in the last 20 years, and that's here, we'll find uh, 21 work and I can state with pride that uh, we also participated in it with Alexander Konstantinovich. That paper is given here, which showed that despite the difference in survival without progression and overall survival, statistical reliability difference was not revealed, but uh, they noted a statistical difference in cancer-specific survival, that is an interesting conclusion, despite the fact that the number of patients was low. At the same time, uh, another paper was published in Cleveland. I learned later, due to that study, our paper was not published in uh, urology oncology, uh, but the design of the study was similar. We have a similar number of patients, the same regimen of chemotherapy. We gave only hormone therapy, and uh, hormonal therapy was not a standard at the time for uh, combinations with toxins for treatment of the patients. And a similar made in our observation, 11 years, and the results were also quite different. In the group with neoadjuvant chemotherapy, the increase 
related to historical cohort. The authors analyzed uh, this group. The uh, re uh, increase was uh, only related to oral survival chemotherapy. It didn't show any uh, uh, clear conclusion. Thus, we uh, are still uh, studying this trend. Combination of chemotherapy, toxins, and hormone uh, uh, drugs, which appeared at a later periods and were not uh, studied in an uh, adjuvant uh, regimen. The design of that new study is shown in the slide. That method of study uh, was patented by us, and we have some results which uh, can be uh, worded. Uh, like that early oncological result, expected increase and high reduction of PCA level, more pronounced decrease of prostate volume and tumor volume. I'd like to note that uh, among the early results, a high uh, frequency of hyperstating, uh, we more often found uh, a localized process uh, versus the chemically suspected uh, locally advanced process uh, that is not only related to the diagnosis. I think now adjuvant treatment resulted in decrease of the tumor and increased the possibilities of surgical treatment. Remote oncological, oncological results were published this year uh, in the journal Oncourology, and it is shown that with a median of observation less than three years, positive surgical margin reliably uh, was less frequently recorded in the group with no adjuvant uh, chemohormone therapy that uh, shows a possibility of surgical treatment that no adjuvant therapy increases the possibilities of surgical treatment. Uh, Relapse-free uh, recurrence uh, showed not, uh, no statistical difference and cancer-specific, but overall survival was high in the group of combined treatment. Analyzing the situation in a certain group, I will not uh, speak in detail on it now. We assess the results of pattern of forces after chemohormone therapy, analysis of microRNA in prostate tissue removed. And if we sum up what has been said and analyzed in the study and uh, our results, no adjuvant chemotherapy, uh, uh, chemohormone therapy and negative therapy might be reduced to certain statements. First, reduction of the size of the tumor that increases. Well, that probably is the main conclusion. Now, adjuvant treatment can increase uh, the uh, efficacy and the possibilities of uh, making surgery, resectability, frequency of uh, negative surgical margin. More complicated matters which play certain roles and whose ro uh, role has to be specified, the degree of metamorphosis and all these effects uh, that cause that is shown under prediction dependence of the response uh, to adjuvant therapy, chemo, uh, hormone therapy, to overall survival, scan sp specific uh, survival. Uh, today, we we'll also will listen to the role systemic treatment uh, in uh, prostate cancer, not only localized or locally advanced, but metast oligometastatic prostate cancer. There are a lot of studies dealing with combination and uh, many conclusions. Uh, say the following. For instance, last year this study was published. The surgical treatment supported by chemohormone therapy can lead to certain results, uh, such as a more pronounced uh, reduction of PC in uh, uh, reduction of uh, positive lymph nodes, frequency of the positive uh, surgical uh, margin. In some cases, to improvement of the indications of uh, survival, 
But I think that uh, other speakers will tell us about it. As to the prospect of the studying the role of neoadjuvant therapy, we have to state that probably the selection of the patients for that method of treatment for this combination chemo-homotherapy in the adjuvant regime with a subsequent uh, radical prostatectomy, we have to clearly select the patients, taking into account the indicators, uh, assessing the role of metamorphosis, changes of the level of expression of micro -RNA molecular genetic alterations that will result in a regression model. Uh, for some patients, uh, the method would be good, and we have to stand for what patients to form the target population for the treatment regimen. I can't move to another slide. Well, no adjuvant therapy shouldn't be a, a factor that interferes with the treatment. It should help to give better results. For instance, the results of the largest centers in our country that are most actively dealing with it. Uh, a question Oncology Institute named after Petrov, Institute of Radiology and Hudson Institute. Probably this uh, work uh, should be carried on, and we'll have a lot of new results. And I wouldn't say that I really coped with the task to destroy the myth on neoadjuvant treatment in treatment of localized prostate cancer and locally advanced cancer, and to show that this le legend was uh, has not yet appeared. Probably we'll see, probably it will appear later. Thank you for your attention.